Today we're going to talk all about science curriculum for the 2023-2024 school year. Hi, my name is Sarah and this is Geeky Abode. This is where I love to share everything homeschool, family, and a little bit of life's adventures. Today I'm going to share what I have selected for our curriculum choices for the 2023-2024 school year. We choose mostly secular curriculum options and I am homeschooling two kiddos that are going to be entering into the second grade and fifth grade and we do science together as a family and really like to dig into units. So let's dig into what we're doing this school year. The first thing that we are going to be doing is I have chosen Blossom and Root and I believe it's year three. Off the top of my head, I'm not exactly sure, but it is the year that is split between the human body and physics. So the first half of the year we'll be doing Blossom and Root's human body unit. And I also have picked up another unit to go along with that. And that is the good and the beautiful health and the physical body. This is one of their new science units that is absolutely wonderful. Currently we're working on the geology one and it's been a lot of fun. It's beautiful and it's been very simple to use and engaging. The pages are very beautiful. It's very easily laid out and there's nice activities. There's also a student journal. I picked up one of these for both of my kids. And the student journal is really nice. It's really engaging. So I am pairing that up with the Blossom and Root. Alone, both of these curriculum options would be perfect. I just like these options and I wanna compare them and put them together and do a little bit more. This. Health in the physical body has 14 different lessons in it. And the Blossom and Root, I believe, has a little bit more. So together, we will be able to really cover the human body very thoroughly coming in the next coming year. We did a human body unit many years ago. It was probably three or four years ago. So we haven't really done anything when it comes to the human body in years. So I wanna make sure that we're covering that pretty thoroughly because next year is going to be a different year. And I don't think we'll be digging into the human body. So in addition to the human body, the second half of the year with the Blossom and Root units is going to be physics. And that includes so many different things. It includes motion, electricity, and just really covers a wide variety of physics concepts. And that's something we barely even touched on in our homeschool, so I'm excited for that for next year. That would be enough but we love science and we also really like moving beyond the page. So I have some moving beyond the page units that we are going to be doing this school year. And I will have a video coming out pretty soon on how I plan on trying to schedule this out for the school year. I'm still working that out, how to try to fit in all the things I wanna fit in. That usually is my problem. I wanna do lots of things and I don't really know exactly how to fit it in. But when it comes back to science, with moving me on the page, we are going to be doing the amazing weather unit. And this comes from the ages seven to nine concepts. And I do have some of the language arts units to go along with this, but I've decided I might not use those anymore because I have a lot of other language arts things that we're using. And I will link my video up here for what we're using for language arts. I'm discovering it might be a bit overload, but I definitely want to use the science units and the social studies units for moving beyond the page because we really do enjoy moving beyond the page. So we're gonna do the amazing weather first. And last year we did the Blossom and Root, the year one, which was the earth and sky. And the previous year we did weather, so we didn't, we skipped the weather portion in this current school year that we're finishing up now. And I saved that, so I'll pair some of the activities and videos and books that are in that unit with this and we'll do a little bit of a weather unit. And these units are pretty short too. Like this is, it's eight lessons with a final project and four of the lessons have two day lessons. So it is, Something that you could do in a, in a few weeks matter of time, depending on how many days a week that you're gonna do it. The next one that we're going to be doing is sound. And this one is paired with language arts, who is Helen Keller. 
I'm probably going to do that because that is something I want to introduce my kids to. So maybe I will do some of the language arts. See, I, I haven't quite figured it out. So sound is something we're going to use, do, and I think that's going to be very interesting and very exciting. We're going to do the rainforest, and then we are going to do the land. And I'm not really sure. This is a science science unit. I'm not really sure. sure. Oh, it's like environment. It's where you live, types of maps, natural resources, farming, environment. So that is something that we are going to be doing in the next school year. I'm pretty sure as we go through this school year, I probably will have some more science things in our homeschool because we do like to do a lot of unit studies. I like to do Harbor and Sprout. I am looking at some Barefoot Within the Trees units. So we will be adding in some more science. And I'll mention that when I do like quarter updates and monthly updates of how things are going and how things are changing. But this is going to be the core of our science in the next school year. We're going to be doing that. I believe it's year three, Blossom and Root. That's half human body, half physics, and the Moving Beyond the Page science units. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And next up, I think, is going to be my history video. So keep posting for that. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out. And thank you so much for watching. And have a great day. Bye.